My name is Alexandra Friedman. I've been a tapestry weaver for over 30 years. I've done, I started out working with uh, a, a woman in New York City who had received a commission to do tapestries for Pan Am Airlines. So we were working on six tapestries for each jumbo jet in the old days. And it was a very exciting commission because it was, even though there was a lot of repetition, there was a wonderful experience and it actually paid pretty well. So that led to me uh, into doing some of my own work at that point. I developed this, my own studio space. And I also was interested in architecture, so I've done some of these pieces which include a lot of uh, architectural details such as doors, windows, um, and incorporating some plant life to make it a little more interesting. Um, I really enjoy working with color and with the, the different yarn textures. There's a very uh, inspiring amount of uh, enthusiasm in all of this, produ in this production. Um, I've also been very interested in tapestry weaving. Tapestry, as you probably know, is a, a construction process of a warp and a weft. The warp is the part that is, this bo is the bones of the piece, and the weft is the color. It, it usually travels from left to right, under and over the warp ends. And this is a way that we can um, start building our own pieces. You can also think of these tapestries as paintings, but the whole artwork has been created from the, the elements of the we weaving um, as you build the whole thing. Um, I'd like to show you some other uh, pieces I've done more recently, taking advantage of the construction process. Okay. Uh, I've also been most recently very interested in, in developing the sculptural aspect of the tapestry, because, and I've been using um, something called an eccentric weft, which means that the warp and the weft are no longer at 90 degrees from each other, but at some extreme angle. And if you look at the tapestries behind me, you'll see that the work is, is traveling um, at extreme angles. And this causes the tapestry to, to become three-dimensional when you cut it off the loom. And the possibilities of this are very exciting. I've been, uh, done these three pieces very recently, and I'd like to be doing some other ones too, as well as I as I'm incorporating different colors and trying different materials other than warp and silk, which I've been using wool and silk, which I've been using to date. Um, I have um, lots of ideas, and I'm hoping to develop them in the future. Oh. <laughs>